Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to introduce you to the list command in Excel. Excel snuck this into version 2003, and I'll admit it, it took me about two years before I accidentally stumbled upon the list feature, and ever since I use it almost every day. We're already familiar with the auto filter on a range of data or on a list of data and we're also familiar or have learned recently about the custom filter capabilities. Well we could do both inside lists but identifying your data as a list has many additional advantages. Let me demonstrate a few. We start with data that has clearly identified column or field headers. Select one cell in the data list, and now we want to identify it to Excel as a data list. So we choose data, list, create the list. Notice the keyboard shortcut, control L. It's a very handy one to remember. Excel has identified my data two ways, with the running marquee around it as well as the cell parameters there, and that it has header list click OK and now the first thing that we notice is that the list toolbar appears if I click a cell outside the data list the toolbar disappears click inside it reappears also notice the blue border around the data list and that auto filter drop-down filters have also been added now the first reason that you should consider using the list is notice down here. If I want to expand my data table, my data list is very simple. If I wanted to just put another rep in the West Coast and let's call them Al and add in a quota and add in some sales, then my list automatically expands. The second reason that you should consider identifying your range of data as a list for Excel is so that you can use the toggle total row. Watch when I click toggle total row, you see automatically I get a total for my columns. If I want to see what function Excel chose, by default that chooses sum. If I wanted to change that to average, voila. There you go. And notice how when I filter my data, for example, the Gulf Coast region, the information changes dynamically. If I want to add another function to another column, for example, if I want to see the average of the quota for the Gulf Coast, I can do that. If I want to bring back all of my information, the numbers change. If I wanted to see how many reps were in a region, I could use this count function. And again, if I go up and filter, this time I'll use a custom filter. Let's pick two regions. So let's say the uh, Great Plains region or equals the Mid-Atlantic. Click OK. You see how my numbers have changed. Let's bring this back up. And if I wanted to see the sum, the numbers change. OK, in addition to adding rows dynamically, we can also add columns. So for example, if I wanted to add a field for state, I just type that in in my top row, and you see the list automatically extends. So if I want it in the Great Plains, let's say they're in Nebraska, and I can just start filling in my information there. OK, let me show you the last great feature and advantage for using list. In a worksheet, with a list, we can have multiple lists in the same worksheet. So for example, I can create a separate list with its own toolbar, and this can scroll and filter independent of my first list in the same worksheet. If I want to add a row, add a column to this uh, list, I can do it. So there you have it. Learn how to identify your data as a list in Excel. Control L, great shortcut, the toggle total row, the ability to expand your records in the data list or expand the fields. And there's a tip. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.